So we've just walked into another square and this is where we were this morning for the market. So during the during the day it's a market yeah. and at night it's busy, isn't it? It's busy with everyone dancing to swing. And, and what we're doing is like we'll just walk up someone and dance without even knowing, don't yeah, we? Yeah, it's well weird. What did you call them? Swinging doggers, I think. Swinging <laughs> doggers. But we don't know. We've seen the t- two women were dancing and then two fellas and then they've split up and they've gone with different partners. It's and then there was just a woman stood there on her own and a man's mooched over to him and they've started dancing. It's, it's nice, but it's a bit freaky as well. Yeah, I'm going to go and have a go on that. <laughs> so we're just looking, walking around the, the street still, aren't we? And there's still yeah. quite a lot of shops on. We stumbled across a pet shop. And every pet shop we've been looking at, we haven't filmed everyone, we've been looking for something for Chico, haven't we? Yeah, we just saw this jumper here, and Mark said, what about slings? Because we've been wanting a sling for ages. We don't want him in the bag in summer. We want to be able to so see we, him and yeah. be able to enjoy so him. So he can look around, around yeah, yeah, so he's not locked away. So. Guess what we've got? Now we've got this out of Chico's coffee money, yeah, where everyone's buying Chico's him treats. Treat. Yeah, every time someone's buys him a treat so thank you you guys you've bought him yeah. this everyone who buys him a treat on buying I'll me a this. coffee look. look at that it's a sling and it's furry inside so he'll just fit in oh that. he's gonna love that like a cocoon he's gonna it? love that obviously for safety there's a tag there for him as well mm-hmm. so he'll go in there with his harness on and we just asked off. didn't we we just said do you do slings and they do don't they so it's a good make as well it's well made yeah, so what's it called it? Trixie, so we'd just like to say thank you guys for sending Chico treats. He's got so many treats, it's gonna they're gonna last another year, I think. But this is handy, isn't it? Just to nip this down. This is something the road that he needs and he's really gonna love this as well, so thank you. Good morning. Another beautiful, beautiful day. It's just a bit cooler, isn't it? <laughs> Good morning from Chico as well. <laughs> All right. Oi. Chico. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good morning. And another beautiful morning. Um, Just a bit cooler, isn't it? This it's, yeah, it's jumper time. It's gorgeous, but there's a bit of a cool breeze going down our back. Chico's just heard an ambulance, so he's howling like per usual. Um, we are going to go back into Rimini today, just have a quick look round before we leave. And we're walking today because someone fell off a scooter yesterday, didn't they? Me, it me. me, it was my turn this time and I've hurt my knees. I would just, we'd just come off a scooter track for you about... paying attention, that's right. And there was a curve and I didn't see it. So that's me right over the handlebars. Nice to see so many Italian men came to my aid. No one moved, did they? <laughs> did just sat there. No, no. In actual fact, well, it's a bit weird because no one has spoken to us. All these motorhomes and campers here, no one said morning or anything. You no, know? nothing. The thing is, a lot of them are bilingual. They do speak a bit of English, but I yeah. think they're quite rude, to be fair. Anyway, the campsite that we're on, I said we'd show you. It's not a campsite. It's more of an air. 15 euros a night. Uh, two euros to empty your toilet. Two euros to fill your water. And, two, and, and then electrics more as well, isn't it? Yeah. So we've just spent 15 euros, we haven't done any of the other things. Um, it is literally a glorified car park, but yeah. I must admit, there's security on it, we do feel safe and yeah, we're right, right in the city centre. Yeah. So, like I said, there's not many other places to park here, is Someone there? put on the review on the, on the search for sites app, I think it were, that it's a bit of a dump. I mean, they stayed one night, paid for two, but couldn't get a refund. But why bother when you're here, you're here? It's right, it's, it's right. Enough, it's, isn't it? Yeah, we only paid for one and we've stayed for two. Well, there are it's quite a lot of older camper vans. Ours is old anyway, anyway. We're not saying we've got the newest one, but. Yeah. You know, so, anyway. Anyway, we, he's, he's chomping at the bit, and so is Chico. So, let's go and have a look around Rivenet a bit more. So, our next point of call was going to be a lovely place called San Marino. But we've, just, we've found out that we can't go there. Why yeah, can't we go, Mark? Well, it's, it's its own country, isn't it? It's nothing to do with Italy. So it's a little tiny 20 odd kilometres wide country, isn't it? Hidden in Italy, isn't it? Yeah, just, just up the road, only an hour's drive. In fact, you need a thing called an international driving permit, uh, which I haven't got. <laughs> so it's the only country around here where you need it for. You need them in like America and stuff like that certain places but without it it's it's like you're driving with no driving license so a uk driving license sufficient for italy germany france spain everywhere like that just not there 
just not there so Which we can't an, go it's an absolute shame because we're well, looking forward to it weren't we the scenery looks beautiful and to have a little country like that nestled away well, in the middle of it, Italy it's strange it's, isn't it because it's small my take on it is that we don't want foreigners driving around there top and bottom of it for a simple reason to get there You've got to have a license anyway. You're not just going to land there, are you? In a motor, home. you've got. If you're driving around, you, you drive there. Yeah. So you have a license, which is good enough for for Italy and Germany and every other Austria. country, basically, to get to so it. So my take on it is, we don't want people driving around. So on that, it's just like we're not going. Simple as that. And the other reason we wanted to go as well, it said it was one of the cheapest places around, didn't it? It said something to do with the vat and stuff like that. So it was it, it was uh, a lot cheaper. We we're going to go and have a look around tomorrow, but we're going to have to drive around. past it, aren't we? Yeah. So Mark's just spotted one of these 24 hour vending places he wanted a drink we but... We saw it last night, it's called Ferrari or something, isn't it? Yeah, Electrical but shop. next to Candy One, for the chocolate and things and sandwiches, you've got this. I don't know what that is, but it says skunk and what? I enjoy skunk. Cannabis, and what's all that? And then you've even got extra large sleeves. Well, you've got, yeah, you've got some adult entertainment there, haven't you, as well? It's, it's bizarre, isn't it? That looks like what, a What, you bomb, can get though. out of a... That looks Mark, like a adult, adult stuff? Yeah. Pregnancy test. Oh yeah. Mosquito wipes. <laughs> Mosquito wipes. Well, that looks like some sort of one of them fancy bong things there. What you do? God knows. And then water. As we've said before, all the shops shut here, so everyone's just milling around. Your restaurants and your cafe bars and coffee places, they're all open, so you can go and visit them. But uh, we're on our way to go and have a look at this big fancy castle that used to be a jail. So I can say I've been to. Ferrari shop today and bought myself something. I've From the Ferrari shop. Ferrari electronic shop. What a can of Pepsi. Yeah. Eh, dear me. I don't know what a link is to Ferrari. There's a road back there, street It's back the there. name. It's the, the famous fella, isn't it? Just where the makeup. Is it Luigi Ferrari? Mm. Something like that. Anyway, I don't know whether it's got anything to do with cars at all, Mark. It's all a history it's thing. Another one now. Yeah, well, that's not a Ferrari one, is it? That's, again... Puff. And they've got bottles in there. You can get what, puff in there. What's puff? Get oh, it's cigarettes. That's what you can puff. You can have cigarettes and then a drink and some M&Ms. Yeah, yeah. They look like they've been worn, don't they? Uh, God they knows how much they are. They all do, look at them. I know. Is that the fashion? I know ripped jeans and stuff. Come mm. on. Buying trainers that look like you've already done 50,000 miles in them. Not for me. Let's see if we can find them ones up here from last night, Mark. Oh, we found them. Look at these for off-road trainers. They're like tyres, aren't they? I oh, know. Yeah, but how much, Mark? I can't remember. Balenciagas. Look at the prices. About 1,900 or 1,700. You can buy a car for that, can't you? <laughs> you can buy a Ferrari. They're mental, aren't they, prices? And you know, there were loads of people looking at them last night. Whether they're just looking and saying what we're saying or looking to buy, I don't know, it's a but. Camel toe. Oh my god, look at them. What did you just call them? Camel toe. Camel toe boots. So we've just come across the square we were in last night as well, and we found the fountain Fantana della Pigna. Now, Mark spotted this last night. What did you say about it? It's got pineapple on top, that looks a bit, doesn't it? A pineapple? Or something like that. And this square was absolutely even last night. Uh, it, as you can see, it's absolutely. Stunning, there's all yeah. sorts going yeah. off here. It's not so busy now, is it? No, it's dead quiet. Well, that's not as good as that fountain we saw in Venice. And if you didn't see that video, you must go back to our Venice one, previous video, because that was a great fountain, the Bitty Fountain, wasn't it? Yeah, you love that one. Right, guys, it's on. You found it in Rimini. Send me a picture of it, and I will put you on our Instagram. Somebody ought to come along and let you down So you could see my side and how it feels to hit the ground So we found Castel Sismondo Now this is the home of the museum now but it was a castle to start off with and built in 1446 and it's also been a jail in Rimini as well. Now that is a jail that, that looks like a yeah, prison, doesn't it? But I'm more impressed with this pond behind us. Is, it, is that a puddle or is it a pond? It is actually like a little lake, isn't it? You can hear the water going going on it. Look how shallow it is though. The chico line's going as well. Chico, go to the chico. Hey! That's just deep enough for Chico, isn't it? Perfect. I mean, it's nice <laughs> on, a cool, on a warm day, isn't Don't it? lick it. It's, not, it's probably clean as well. Don't lick. Put that tongue away. 
Yeah, so it's quite an impressive castle that. Does it look like it's been touch marked or changed? We all make mistakes and no one lives without sin. But why'd you have to break my heart? I wasn't ready to let you go yet. And now you're standing at my door thinking that I'm gonna let you in. But if you wanted to be loved, you should have never let me go. Hope somebody will break your heart so you could feel this pain and know what it's like to be left out in the cold. Standing by yourself, no one to hold. If you still wanted to be loved, you should have never. Yeah, so, if you want to come to Rimini and find out a bit more about it, go in there because that's where the museum is. And they also have markets on here some days as well. So, we're just stood here, we're about to leave, and look at that. What's all this about then? Steam. She called it like it anyway when that came on. Cheeks. He's too busy playing over there, look. <laughs> Chica, what are you doing? <coughs> yeah, it's good that, isn't it? Makes it look like it's boiling, Mark. And, uh, it's like them vaporizer things, isn't it? Like some off top at Pops, I could be up there and do my Rick Astley impression, couldn't I? Really? Right, so we're going to head back, I think. Yeah, we're going to end our adventure here in Rimini under the arch here, aren't we? Where we started. And I've got a stick. I don't know why they're all giving olive sticks out today. I think it's a sign of peace or love or something. A week before Easter, isn't it? But Easter, if you just look behind us... It's looking a bit dark, I isn't it? I just checked on the radar and there's some rain flanking just south of the where we are at the flanking. minute. Flanking? Flanking. Doing his Michael fishing person. It might rain. And it's a sort of forecast it yesterday for today, but then it's changed that it's going to be sunny. So. Oh, who cares? Don't care. As long as I'm not in the UK where it just rains all the time anyway. So, we're going to head back to the van because you've got a solar panel to put away, haven't you? And we've got to be off for, I think, half past four, isn't it? Something like that, yeah. So, we're going to head on. We're going to head over to the other side we're not going any further down in italy are no we? no because we've realized that nothing's open yet it's just too early in the too season early. for italy we're so go, we're, we're, we are heading over to the other side of italy hmm. so if you want to look on your maps you might think where well, you might realize where we're going yeah. another significant place in italy where people go and uh, visit some famous films have been made there mm. i know one of them was superman giving you a hint sounds but. like something you might eat as well that's a big hint isn't it you will see that we left Rimini and we are heading for somewhere quite special, somewhere we've always wanted to see, ain't it? Yeah. Where are we going, Mark? It's always on my mind because it's food, pizza. It's not pizza, it's pizza. We're going to Pisa. I have always, always wanted to see the Leaning Tower of Pisa. And I've seen it on Superman film and other things as well. Have you? Oh, Lizard. Lizard just run across there. Stop I? doing that. I've got to nearly drop lizard. the camera. Oh, do you know? Yeah. Right, so we didn't want to stop, uh, go all the way because it's quite a way. So we stopped off last night, didn't yeah, we? Stopped off in a little town further up. Yeah, from but, where we are now. And we are in a place called Imola. Imola. Yeah. Uh, now I didn't know anything about this, but Mark knows all about in, it. Imola. It's a lot of people know it's been obviously home to San Marino Grand Prix in the way back in the day, and a lot of motorsport events. And obviously the main one is, is Formula One, isn't it? Or Formula One racing way back in the. 90s and stuff and moreover it's nearly exactly 30 years to the day we're only a, a week or two off yeah um, the memorial of uh, or the anniversary of the death of Ayrton Senna so we feel it only fitting to come to the Miller circuit and we're going to go to the memorial aren't yeah we're we, just outside all? the circuit now if you see just behind us yeah you can't see the circuit you see the numbers up there for the sharp corners and yeah stuff. we might be able to show you though because yeah, yeah. we think we might be able to sneak sneaky peek are all drawn up there and see if we can get some uh, yeah. pictures for you now we did a bit of research it's quite a lot of scandal and even as, as as late as 2007 um there was investigations about what happened because there was a lot on that race weekend on the first of may 1994 there was already a death and then there were loads of crashes on the warm-up uh, warm-up events i'm not a, a massive formula one fan uh, but I just researched this because I remember it way, way back in the day and obviously then Ayrton Senna capped it off, didn't it? And uh, 
Yeah, but someone like me that knew nothing about it, Mark, you showed me and it does look like accident. something went wrong. There's just... so many different mm. things, didn't they, what went wrong? I mean, but they said whether it's because they modified the car so it was more comfy for him and the more space or whether he had a puncture from a previous incident on the starting line and so many things. But Yeah, but to look at that, he just he just diverts off, doesn't he? He doesn't even try and turn, so mm. poor, poor chap, poor But anyway, poor we're, thing. we're here now, so we're going to have a look at the memorial, aren't we? Yep, it's, it's 30 years to get to, on. isn't it? We, you don't have to go on the circuit. The circuit here do events where you can walk around. We do a, a, a they do a like walking a, tour. A minibus van thing takes you around the course and stuff. You know, I was going to bring the motor home and race it around, but I bet you won't let me. No, I wonder why. So, but it doesn't look like a, a so it doesn't looks very n- normal, doesn't it? Nothing at all, really. Yeah. But, but it's here, so let's go and have a look. Let's go and have a look. So Mark's in his element. He couldn't wait. Just on the other side of that uh, fence, there is the track. So he's managed to find a little path here. And he's gone to have a sneaky peek. What's it like? It's all fenced. You can see it's all like mesh fencing, but you can see the, the road, the actual circuit. Yeah. But it just looks like a tarmac road. Just think, uh, there's steps there, Mark. You see, you're not there. Right. Yeah, go and have a look up there. So we're just before the actual part where the accident happened on the corner. It looks nothing like it did on the on the footage back it was at the 30 time. years ago weren't but it? on the course if you look at the course where the sharp corner was they put like a squiggle in now to slow people down yeah. they? so it's it used to be flat out down here apparently and then on that corner that's what happened you see you're going full speed more or less so. and his memorial is just round the corner here so mm. it's definitely we're definitely in the right spot yeah, yeah. So it's here yeah, it's, 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 really? if you if you get a chance go on youtube and find the ayrton center crash well if you want to because yeah, it's, mm, it's it's not good is it poor mm, chap mm. The flat there. oh there you go yeah there's obviously the it went this side it was the other side no the there's the track there. over there yeah i might say the tent the shop and south the corner now yeah these have been here for some time haven't they but this is not even the memorial, it's just that people know that this is where it actually happened. Yeah, it's just there with all this stuff up there. Lovely flag there, someone's put up, aren't they? So wow, this is 30 years on and people are still coming and putting flags on here. This is this is amazing. You wouldn't normally get this after 10 years, would you? No. No, you wouldn't. It's, uh... Flowers, badges, flags, plaques. So that means that I was put there exactly 10 years ago, more or less. 1st of May, 94, that's when it happened. Wow, caps, people have put on there. People still put dates on here. T-shirts. And then Keen. August, August 23. 23 last year. Some real new stuff in all. And here's the actual monument here. Ayrton, he doesn't look... That's very sad, they've made him look sad as well, aren't they? Mark's found an outside gym. Do you even know what you're supposed to do? Oh God. <laughs> you're right. What's this one here? Mark, don't forget we've got to walk back to the van as well. This is the thing that you put your phone in. Oh yeah. Go on then. <laughs> You're not getting right for <laughs> Oh dear me. There's something wrong with that. Oh is there? Come on, we've got about a three mile walk back to the van. I know, I'm exhausted now. I need the Chinese after all that then. Yeah. You've got no chance of finding one of them either. Have you? No. Another thing we haven't seen here, isn't it? 
not many Chinese. It's all poke bowls and sushi, isn't it? I've seen two charity shops. I've seen one the other day that I went in, and I've seen one today that's not open until four o'clock. Yeah, racing cars filming each other. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a car going round, and someone's leaning out the back of the boot filming them. Very safe. Right, it's on. So if you come to see Ayrton Senna, I'm sure you'll be able to find it. So take a picture of yourself with it. Send it to us and we will put it on our Instagram. Whoa, knackered and we've got about another two mile back to Van Bonn. It's been longer than we thought. I didn't think it seemed that long. But... I know, who is tired? <laughs> but with little sling, isn't he? He's saying thanks to you lot that have sent him treats. We're, we're using his new sling that we got mm. in Rimini. He's happy in it, isn't he? Look, he's happy as Larry, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, I could just climb in there myself. I oh, know, I'll carry it both of you. Oh. So we can walk back in it, we need to go and get some shopping, don't we? Yep, yeah, we're off to Lidl, so we'll see you back at the van. Now it's too late to regret it All the hurtful things I said And yeah, I know I'm all alone Lie to myself, cause I can't let go Cause it's the hardest pill to swallow Knowing you ain't coming back We've also walked 20 miles, Lisa, haven't we, down the uh, <laughs> memorial? It's a right walk down, right the other side. We're part one side of the city, and that's at the other side, isn't it? So. And look at him, he's gone straight to the sun. What? What are you doing? Right, I said I need a wee. And I need a Yorkshire tea. You should have never let me go. You should have never let me go cool.